We shall now learn how to group the orders table on email. We shall do this with the raw system by which we displayed all the orders and also all the customers. We shall use the same raw system for explaining how we can do grouping with that. Coming straight away to our database I'll right click on tables show table data. This is the table. Basically what I want to show is I'll group against this email. So I'll try to display a at the rate a.com. This is the email. It has got two orders. b at b.com has got one order. c at c.com has got two orders. So I'll display the email and the number of orders against that email. So as we explained in one of our ordering lectures, we have to create subtables out of this table by grouping on this column and performing arithmetic on this column. We shall group on this and arithmetic on this. So let us see how we can do. Suppose TBL orders collection comes to me in T. I get that collection in variable T. Then all I have to do is to write group by and pass the remaining parameters. I have to operate group by on the TBL orders collection. That is on this table I have to operate group by. And if I pass the correct parameters then my output will come to this one. It will be available in this format. Grouping query will look like this where query is equal to t dot group by this is the type of collection on which grouping is being done comma the second argument is the data type of the key against which grouping is being done. Since we are going to group against the email this will be string. Here we will specify the email foreign key as the column against which grouping is being done. So how will this query run? What will the output of this query be? This query will basically return you a table consisting of grouped email foreign key. How many types of emails are there? There are three types of emails on that at present. So it will give a at the rate a.com, b at the rate b.com and c at the rate c.com as the rows of the resultant table of this query. This will be called key column v.key and the second column will consist of the arithmetic that we specify. We can specify some average, whatever or count. So this is how it will work out. You will group by the type of the collection, the nature of the key on which you are grouping, which key you are grouping. The result will be V dot key consisting of one record for each group. And here the corresponding arithmetic that we want to do. Arithmetic will be available through v dot key, v dot any arithmetic function that we can call. Let us see how to do. This is our get orders table and this is get users table. We have displayed two of them. Now we can add our third, third function to it to display the grouping. So we are right.